Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Badger, and uh, they they somehow made Modern Warfare 3 e even more worse. So I'm going through the uh, like content in the patch notes and everything, and honestly, some of these are really nice. Like you get rank 56 and prestige one now, so you can keep going up. But and also this um, golden armor plate actually does seem really good, seems really nice. But then we get to gameplay. Outlast. Enemies no longer spawn if players are not progressing the contract. Raid weapon stash. Enemies no longer spawn if players are also not progressing the contract. This is horrible. They just, they are completely killing camo grinds, but not actually, well, I mean, they kind of are. Outlast and weapon stash raids were actually, like, probably, I don't know, I personally found them the easiest to do the camos for, but they are no longer the best way to do them. But I'm going to show you guys a new trick, and also I think you guys will like this challenge, maybe not. I don't know, but I'm going to show you guys probably my best way to now do camo grinds. There's going to be two separate ways that I'm going to be showing off, so let's just, let's get right into it. We're actually in the game after having to sit through like 50 minutes worth of videos for the, like the cinematic trailers, whatever. Still have to wait for the shaders to install, so I, I, I kind of hate update dates. <laughs> Alright, so it's finally done. Let's just make sure, okay, yeah, we should, we should be good. We're gonna go ahead and we're finally going to test this out. So we're gonna see how bad they actually made the contracts now. All right, so let's see here. Where is, damn, we don't even have, we have a tier two one. So we might as well just go do that when we get a chance. But first, I think I'm gonna do a couple other contracts before we go ahead and do the outlast. Is that a stamina bar? Oh shit, we have stamina bars now. I did not know that was a thing. That green bar in the bottom. That's actually kind of cool. Let's go ahead and use all the stuff and then we can send a transmission. But let's go ahead and let's just do deliver cargo quick. That way we can get some points and then maybe also some perks. Let's go do this quick and then watch this. We're going to go up here. Alright, maybe not. <laughs> what are these brothers doing? Holy sh- Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Holy shit, he just disappeared. Where, where, <laughs> I've never seen that before. Bro just straight up disappeared. Got shot off into the stratosphere. Holy shit. There, we'll use Plopper. Okay, we actually got good stuff out of that that I've been needing because for some reason I do not have any of my stuff. Maybe because it's the season reset or something. I think that could be why. All right, so there's a weapon stash over there. Let's go test this out quick. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but we'll find out. Whee! I got him flying. Oh, there goes a the tire. I actually think I just lost all my tires. Yep. <laughs> okay. I'm actually curious if escort might be the new move for zombies, at least in terms of getting zombie spawns, because you do get a lot as is during uh, the escort. The only thing about the escort step is it's going to absolutely suck to try to do that with like a sniper. Having the stamina bar is actually kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely gonna take some getting used to. Let's actually just go do this ether nest while we're here as well. This was also one of the ones that I thought actually might be good for weapon XP, would be like ether nests and infested strongholds. Those might be the better ones to do now but i'm not too too sure like look at that we already we've ranked this thing up twice already and that's just by doing a contract and then by also doing an ether nest so still oh why well, i clicked off i somehow clicked off my screen and onto my other screen and switched recordings but i don't even know dude all right let's do this uh weapon stash and just see what they've all changed whoa who is shooting at me what the the knight what is this Sin transmission? That was weird. I've never seen that before. I've I've straight. If anyone knows who the knight is, please please let me know because I genuinely have no idea. Alrighty, so let's go through all these quick. Cause I'm also gonna show you guys the best way to get weapon XP now and also to grind camos out. You aren't really gonna like it, but it might just have to. It might have to do because they have just completely nerfed everything. Let's see here. Yeah, wow. Okay. Yeah, they have completely nerfed- Oh my god, dude. Are you- That's so lame! 
That's actually so lame. Like, I genuinely wouldn't care that they nerf the spawns or whatever. But it's more of the fact of grinding camos out in this game is already a pain. Just with how much you have to do. In terms of, like, look how slow the spawns are just in general. Jesus Christ, dude. I feel like they've also just completely nerfed spawns too. Because this is insanely slow. I don't think I've ever had to, like, actively search to find a zombie during... <laughs> oh my god, this is so dumb. Why? Like, why would they change this? First, it was the X-Fills, which, whatever. I'm fine with X-Fills getting nerfed because at the end of the day, that was a ridiculous amount of zombies. So I get that. But to nerf contracts and actively remove zombies out of zombies is not, it's just, it's not the right decision. It's not the move. Like, I am getting no spawns. Man, okay, this actually sucks. This, this straight up sucks. Okay. I, I get useless shit out of it. Alright. So I don't even want to know how bad Outlasts are. So what we're going to do is we are going to... Is he taking that actually? Okay. Maybe maybe we're good. Maybe we're good. But now we're going to show... Probably... This is my idea of what's going to work for weapon XP now. So we're about to test this out. Because my thoughts now are... Strongholds and escorts are going to be probably the two best to do. And there's one more secret one. Okay. He did take that. God damn it. Alright. There's no escorts, dude. I guess we're actually just gonna go do Outlast. We're gonna see how bad it is. So we also gotta go this way for the Infested Stronghold, and I'll show you guys that this is definitely going to be a good XP farm. Obviously, you're not gonna get, like, the most spawns. It's not gonna be, like, the Outlast or even the Weapon Stash free nerf, but this is definitely going to be better than nothing. But let's go ahead and go in here. Like, you get way more zombies, I feel like, in these than you do, like, anything else, which is really weird. Pretty sure this is a Mimic. Yep. See ya, buddy. Always go for, like, Mimics and boss zombies if you can. Because they're very easy to take out. And they do give you a, a bit more XP and a bit more points. But yeah, you don't even really need a gas mask for these. I do recommend Death Perception. Because you can actually see... What is hitting me? Because you can actually see the, uh, what are they called? Cysts. You can see them with Death, per or death Perception. And they do, it does work wonders. It really does. So, we'll store that. Two play Armor Vest. And then, all right, so this is what we're going after. We're going after these turret circuits. Because you'll definitely, you'll see why, you'll see why. And now we are going to test out these contracts and we're going to see how bad they nerfed it. I'm not going to lie, if it's actually like a lot, I'm going to be really sad. Because like, I, I don't get the point in nerfing stuff in zombies. I don't. Unless it's like so broken to the point where it's like ruining the game. Like, the sentry gun's duplication glitch 100% need to be nerfed. But, like, why nerf stuff for camo grinds? I just, I don't get that. Wait, dude, I can't even do this out- <laughs> Dude, I can't even do this outlast. It's in a stronghold. Alright, well, looks like we're not doing the- Looks like we're not doing that. That's- Okay, man. I didn't even know that was possible. I didn't know you could get that. That's completely new to me. God damn it. All right. Alrighty. Sis time. This is why depth perception is so helpful is because you can actually see through walls and stuff where things are. And I don't know why, but for some reason, all of these, uh, like, what are they called? The crawlers that drop from the ceiling, whenever they explode, their electricity is completely invisible. So I don't know if that's a bug or what, but, uh, instead of nerfing camo grinds, they should, they should probably work on actually fixing bugs within the game just just an idea just an idea i mean like do you see how many zombies we're getting just by doing strongholds like this is kind of an absurd amount i mean they only take like a minute to do at most usually too that's why i like doing them there's an escort right there so we're gonna go ahead and do that it just depends on the weapon but i feel like if you have any automatic weapon escort might be the new best way to really get zombie kills done because like if you have like the what is it zrg sniper or whatever you're this is not the move to do <laughs> for camos on that you also do get a good amount of special zombies while doing this so that's always good if you need those done for challenges feels like they nerf spawns just like for everything because even this feels like really not that many my english is just clearly on point today what is it? oh they have zombies on it that's why it's like where are all the zombies I forgot i'm supposed to be protecting this thing yeah but i mean if you're doing tier one contracts especially with escort and you have a pack a punch gun with a higher rarity and then like green you'll be just fine because i mean like i'm just like one tapping zombies i feel like escort might not be great just because on how long it does take like per escort you might get one maybe two levels or like I don't even know how long these escorts take, but I feel like just it's not overly worth to do escorts because I feel like if you just did strongholds and ether nests, it might be a little bit better. 
And just like that. Stronghold. Like, you can fly through strong. And look at that. We already ranked up. So, I... Oh, strongholds might be the uh, best way to get guns now. Or levels. Where is... So, if you have the Act 1 mission done, you can extract. You have this new extraction point. And this is essentially what we are going to be using for weapon XP. Now, you can also use this to grind camos. Why is there a level 3 zombie here? What the f*** is happening i'm getting lit up you can essentially get a new game you get a new game of zombies you'll get another 45 minute session that you then can use to do this like mission that they have set out for you we're gonna abuse that mission all right we're gonna we're gonna turn it upside down essentially and it's very easy it's like the old x fills you get a lot of zombie spawns in it and you get a lot of xp for it now it used to be that with this method that essentially the game would count um this new lobby as a new session so you did get a little bit more ammo too i'm not too sure how true that is now i don't know if that's still the same but you can use this for grinding camos it might just be a little bit harder also a spore contracts Spore contracts are still very good. I don't really feel like doing one right now because I want to get this video out, but spore contracts are still very, very good. And I do recommend doing those because those did not get nerfed from what I have seen. The only issue with them is you are risking another player coming and destroying your spores. Doesn't happen too, too often, but if it does happen, it can get really annoying. So just heads up on that part of that. And then once you're called in, Hop in, the, hop in the little exfil pl plane and uh, you'll see what we do. You'll see what we do. Alrighty, now that we're loaded in, hello? Where's my gun? Okay, okay, we're good. And look at all those brothers about to die. Three, two, one, and there we go. So you're gonna follow this path I take here. Essentially, we are just going to go on the right side of the map. We don't have to fight any zombies or mercenaries really over there. Would recommend having a tier two packed gun. And at least a blue rarity all right you'll find out the hard way why not you want that <laughs> then you're gonna come up these stairs and there's actually going to be some mercenaries around so go ahead and just take them out you'll get a shock troop and a sergeant and then you'll have more up here so go ahead and take all those guys out you might get a couple zombies like straggling behind but they're pretty easy to take out there's gonna be a sniper right there take him out and then we're gonna go up here sometimes there's a chest up here sometimes there's not can i go up dead wire i don't really need there's also some armor in here if you need it right about now where did you even come from where am i going i might be dead what am i standing whoa they can hit me uh oh okay don't do what i just did that was interesting i've never seen that happen before i've also never fallen down this hole before so that's that's completely new i mean you can see how many zombies i'm getting it's just absolutely absurd I, there's also gonna be perks around this area so usually in this gas station there's gonna be at least one one perk in there it might not be one you need but there is going to be that spawn there for you i like keeping this on me because uh I'm very good at taking out mercenaries if you don't have a gun, that's great. Usually one shots them. One to two shots and they're, you know, usually cooked. And then you can see that she's in here. So we're just going to go right here. And what I like doing is I like going up to the turret basically right away. Because it'll actually take out the gunships that come in. You don't got to worry about mercenaries. And then also it does give you some protection from zombies. So what we're going to go do is come up here. Deposit, deposit, deposit. And then there is also turret here that will always spawn there should be another one i think it's up here yep one right here and then there's also by elite one right here and then he's going to see the turrets getting kills so we are getting xp for that and then the last turret you can find is in here this is why i recommend having this pack two gun is because well zombies they're they're kind of tanky so it's just nice having that extra ability to kill but once it says field progress 100 she's gonna come out of this door and basically we just have to bring her all the way to the helipad then we're basically just go up the same way you came in essentially with putting the turn in make sure you do stay with her because otherwise she will stop essentially and just not move so unfortunately you do kind of have to be up close to her to escort her to the helipad and then once she gets up here this is where stuff starts getting a little insane i like coming back just right about here and then i chill for a little bit let her get up to the helipad and then also so if you don't like get close enough to her it won't spawn the zombies incorrectly also it takes a lot longer for the helicopter to come so i do like just sitting here 
until the zombies start coming up or until you see the helicopter actually coming in but then i like sitting here you can bring in a sentry turret too if you want but it's not really needed because this turn is just ridiculous have whatever gun you want to get your xp on and you just sit here in this corner and you'll let this turret do work this is for the xp method because this will get you a good amount of xp if you have this combined with double xp you'll be just raking in xp it's kind of ridiculous but this also this strategy also does work for getting normal camel challenges done like let's say you need kills with four perks you can come up here and do this exfil strategy here and you will get a lot of zombie spawns you don't need to use the turret for those challenges because it also won't count turn is mainly just for weapon xp like as you can see the turrets getting kills so i am getting xp which is kind of crazy to think about but you will also see that the turret always can't keep up with how many zombies are coming up so like you will have to run around a couple times and the zombies also do hit like tanks up here so just watch out you will lose health very fast but that's why we have frenzied guard because if we activate that the turret will keep getting kills and because we have frenzy guard active we will keep getting shield from said turret so anytime we get hit with frenzy guard and the turret kills something we get our shield back it's foolproof as you can see the turret finally cleared everything out and again we just leveled up again so this is by far probably the best way to get weapon xp in zombies the other way you can get a good amount of xp is honestly just playing multiplayer i know some of the zombie guys you don't like playing multiplayer hence why you're playing zombies but multiplayer is still a great way to get weapon xp there is a drawback with this strategy in that it does take a long time to set up because you do need act one completed fully to do this and then also it does take a long time just to set up even in game like you saw in the original gameplay i was already down to about 16 minutes left in the original you know that 45 minutes you get originally and that's when i finally went over but if you're just doing camo challenges all you really need is a tier 2 pack gun if you're doing xp that's when it's going to require you to set up a little bit longer by doing those infested strongholds and ether nests to get the weapon circuits or the turret circuits i mean but it's still fairly fairly simple i mean you get a long time to even do the challenge you get 30 like i think it's 45 minutes as well it's two back-to-back -back 45 minute sessions which is just ridiculous this is the strategy i've been using personally since i figured out it was a thing Especially with double XP, this strategy went bananas. Like, it was, it's crazy with double XP because I was getting 12 levels per gun doing this strategy. So, it, like, I basically rank up my guns halfway in one game just by doing this with double XP. It's a crazy amount of XP. I mean, this turret goes on for so long, too, which is just ridiculous. But as you can see, the turret's finally done. But then, since we have four more turret circuits, we just go back over, do it, and... This is so dumb, dude. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, it's insane. Like, I was at level 7. I was at level 7 for this when we got into game. And I am at level 18 already. This is without double XP. I've already ranked it up 11 times. This is absurd. So, please, guys, use this strategy before it gets patched. Because it will be getting patched. I guarantee it. If they nerfed the Outlast contract... They nerfed the raid weapon stash contract. This is definitely getting nerfed. But I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. We can live like Jack and Rose. Had the water been warmer. Be the Bonnie and Clyde down in California. Fall in love on the run. Trying to make it to Cabo. Romeo with a blunt. Juliet with a bottle.